I have made it my mission to help you get a better style with both new and old clothes that you already have. So today we're going to talk about probably one of the most important things when it comes to creating better outfits, and that is balance. Hi, by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Marie and I'm here to make fashion make sense. And I do that by doing my best to break down and simplify fashion so that you can develop a better everyday style. Now let's get into the three simple ways that you can elevate your outfit for a more flattering and cohesive look. First up, we have balancing your proportions. People tend to simplify this by saying that you should wear a tight top with flowy bottoms or tight bottoms with a flowy or baggy top, but there is so much more that goes into it. But before we really get into it, I just want to establish the difference between proportions and silhouettes since we're going to be talking about both of these things and you can't have one without the other. So the silhouette of an outfit is the outline or shape of how that clothing item sits on you. Think of it as a shadow, so the outline of that shadow is the silhouette of your outfit. Now proportions on the other hand are how parts of an outfit look in relation to one another. So for example, a tight top with flowy bottoms. The relation between these items create a certain kind of proportion, which then helps to make up the silhouette. So to be able to balance your proportions, you need to get to know your proportions first. Body shape and proportions are very intertwined, but there is no right or wrong way to use proportions in an outfit. It's simply just a tool for styling, which helps to highlight or express whatever you're trying to convey with your outfit. So with that said, never feel pressured to dress a certain way just because of your body shape or proportions. Now, since our goal is to create balance with our outfits, and as I said, you can use proportions in whatever way you like, but since this is our mission, this is what I would do. First, I would loosely try to figure out my body shape, and I say loosely because I'm not a body shape expert, and probably neither are you. But we can still use these guidelines to make our own judgment of what parts we want to accentuate and what other parts we want to draw away attention from. So since our eyes are naturally drawn to symmetry, we want to create a balanced and harmonious look by not really letting anything stick out out of the ordinary. So by doing this, we want to balance our shoulder and hip ratio and accentuate our waistline. If you notice that you have a fuller upper body than your bottom half, you can balance that out by adding more volume to the bottom part of your outfit. And if you have fuller hips than your upper body, you can balance that out by adding more volume at the top of your outfit. Now, when you do this, it's also important that you make other necessary tweaks to your outfit to make it look more balanced and a little bit more polished. For example, you never want to break up your outfit at the largest part of your body. Because even though breaking up your outfit can make it look more visually interesting, it's also what's going to draw the most attention. It's hard to give general styling tips because fashion is so personal, but generally most people will look the most balanced by highlighting the smallest part of their waist. So if your waist is very prominent, then great, you know exactly where you want your waistline to hit you. But if you have a more rounded waist, typically mid-rise or high-rise bottoms will look the most flattering on you. And if you have a rectangular body shape, meaning that you don't really have a lot of curves, you can add more curves by wearing mid-rise or low-rise bottoms. Other things to consider besides where your waistline hits you, it's also where the hem of your shorts, skirts, and pants sit on you. Again, you typically don't want the hem to hit you at the widest part because that's going to make you look wider and can make you look out of proportion. However, in some cases, it's not going to make a difference if you choose flowy bottoms compared to tight fitting ones. As you can see, this skirt and shorts look a bit out of proportion because they're tight around the widest part of the legs. But if you switch them out to a more flowy silhouette, you've instantly erased that with a more balanced proportion. Another method used in fashion for knowing where to break up your outfit for the best visual interest is using the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is often used in art, photography, and architecture to create something that's visually pleasing. In fashion, this means avoiding breaking up your outfit outfit right in the middle and instead let the top half of your outfit take up a third of the outfit and the bottom take up two thirds of the outfit or vice versa. As you can see here, if you break up your body into three parts, one part of the outfit should fill out two of these boxes and the other part one. So where the line hits is where you will want your visual break to be. That's why I said previously that highlighting the smallest part of your waist will typically look the most flattering on most people because that's usually where the one third line naturally hits. This method is typically only used with base layers. Even though you can use layers to create interesting breaks in your outfit, you typically don't want all of your layers to hit you at the exact same spot. In my personal opinion, I feel like this method doesn't always work 
work 100% of the time. I find myself loving outfits that don't use this method at all. And as you can probably tell by now, there are multiple ways that you can balance your proportions and I wouldn't recommend using them all at once. I just want to explain the mindset and give you different methods so that you can have some general guidelines. And if you're trying to do your own research to find outfit inspiration, you will notice that all of these methods and terms will pop up. So I just want you to understand the basic principles of what they are. I even think that some methods that I find out there can contradict each other. So that just goes to show how personal fashion really is and that there really are no rules, only opinion. And when it comes to your style, your opinion is the only one that matters. Now, let's move on to the silhouette. So as I explained previously, proportions and silhouettes are very intertwined, but there's something about the silhouette in particular that I want you to pay attention to, and that is curved versus structured clothing. If your body is naturally curved with round lines, you could consider wearing structured clothing to balance out the roundness of your body, especially if you want to draw away attention from a curvier upper body, or if you have more rounded shoulders. You can really create that hourglass effect by wearing some structured clothing like a blazer for example. This is perfect for adding structure to your shoulders and it's also perfect for skimming your figure since it flows over your midriff. Then if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum and your goal is to create more curves, you can wear clothing items with softer silhouettes to mimic more of a relaxed and curvier look. You can also create curves and structure through your shoes and accessories and you do this by choosing bags or shoes with more rounded lines or more angular angular lines. All of these things will tie together and visually express either a more structured overall look or a softer curved overall look. So now we've balanced out our proportions and gotten our desired silhouette, but there's another way that you can balance your outfit and that is through color. The simplest way to think about it is that darker colors will conceal while lighter colors will highlight. So you can apply the same mindset as with the proportions. If you have a fuller upper body than hips and thighs, you can wear a darker top and lighter trousers. And if you have fuller hips and thighs than your upper body, you can wear darker colored trousers and a lighter top. However, it's also important to consider that contrasting colors will break up the outfit, while very similar contrasts will make the outfit blend more together. And in my personal opinion, more harmonious colors look better for a balanced outfit. However, all colors can be combined for different effects. So there are three main color palettes that I think that you should be aware of, and those are monochromatic, analogous, and complementary colors. A monochromatic palette consists of the same hue in different shades and tones, an analogous color palette is pairing the colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, and the complementary color palette is when you pick the colors opposite of each other on the color wheel. All of these palettes can create really beautiful and cohesive looks. However, again, this is my personal opinion, I would either stick to a neutral color palette, meaning only pairing black, white, gray, beige, brown, and navy or blue, because I think that blue jeans can fit into any neutral color palette, or I would go for a monochromatic or analogous color palette. A few tips to balancing your colors is to tie the same color into different parts of your outfit. So for example, if you have a brighter top, I personally like to wear a brighter shoe to balance out my top and bottom out and vice versa if I have a darker top. This is also referred to as the sandwich method in fashion where you match the top and bottom pieces of an outfit and sandwich something different in the middle. You can do this with your top and shoes, with layering pieces and shoes, or with accessories and shoes. This is however not recommended if you're trying to elongate your figure. Then I would highly suggest a monochrome look because it won't break up the length that you want to preserve. Then as I mentioned previously, you can also tie in different elements like accessories to balance your colors, which is especially super helpful if you're trying to incorporate a pop of color into your look. Also adding a pop of white can really help to blend colors together. So if you feel like your outfit doesn't really match or it feels a bit dull and flat, try switching out your base base layer into something brighter and see if that helps to create harmony and visual interest. This is also something that I suggest doing with a monochromatic look, especially if wearing dark colors like black for example, which many of us do. As you can see, adding a base layer of white really helps to liven up the outfit and make it look more stylish. I hope that that was helpful and that you've now learned how to create better outfits. If you're going to try and put together outfits by yourself now, I highly suggest watching this video where I give you lots of outfit ideas on how you can style your favorite basics. I'm sure that this will be really helpful if you're feeling stuck or uninspired. Also, don't forget to follow me on my socials linked below for even more daily fashion inspiration. Bye!